So here's what I've wanted to do for a while um, on Vortec heads. Uh, I get a lot of questions about porting them uh, and, and the, the kind of flow numbers you can get out of a set of Vortec heads and, and kind of what you have to do to get there. So here's what I'm doing with this head. Uh, this is a 906 Vortec with uh, non pressed and seats, so just like an 062 Vortec off of 350. Um, so what we're going to do here is this one I'm leaving stock, so we're going to flow that one. We're going to get it to the, the flow bench, or we're going to flow this one stock. This one I'm going to do uh, just like a mild uh, seat, like pocket port, and then we can see the difference. This one I'm going to do a combustion chamber and unshroud the valves and then leave the rest of it stock. So around the, uh, around the valve seats and everything I'm going to leave stock. I'm just going to unshroud the valves. And then this one you can actually see I've already started. I'm going to do the chamber, unshroud the valves. I'm going to see I went in here and I started to, to clean up uh, um, around the valve seats and help with the transition. Uh, the, the valve boss. For the valve guides, I'm, I'm uh, going to clean all that up to try to get as much flow out of the exhaust as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the intake. So it's going to kind of go like stock. We're going to kind of compare these to see what the biggest difference is. And then it's going to go to like more of a, a full port. I'm not going to go ham on the, on the intake uh, inlet. I'm, I'll do a little bit of casting cleanup but then we can kind of see the difference and what makes the biggest difference. Is it going to be uh, the pocket porting or is it going to be the combustion chamber? So it's going to be really interesting and then we're going to put that up against some other heads that I'll show you over here. I'm going to use this Dart Iron Eagle 180cc head as kind of like the the staple of like what we're kind of going for. Um, this head is supposed to flow 269 CFM on the intake and 205 on the exhaust. So it's a, it's a really well uh, flowing head for a 180 cc uh, intake runner. Uh, it's heavy, like this, this head weighs 16 pounds more than, uh, than the Vortec head stock for stock. Uh, which, which, is, which is quite significant. So when you pick them up you can tell can, even though the head is physically the same size, this head is 16 pounds heavier, which, which is crazy. Um, so it's kind of this, the same design as a Vortec head. It, you know, it shares the same combustion chamber. Uh, this uses bigger valves, 202 and 16 valves. Uh, but I wanted to use this head because this is kind of like a premium version of a, a Vortec head. It doesn't share the same intake bolt pattern and whatever, but it, it's kind of a way to kind of compare it of a stock Vortec head to what's available available in the aftermarket world. So here's another head that I'm going to do a little bit of work on and we're going to compare. This is uh, an Engine Quest um, steel head. It's an RH RH350 head. I can't get a lot of information on it so I, I don't really know what to compare it to. But it's very similar to the dart head. Uh, the ports are bigger. Um, the combustion chambers are a little bit bigger. 64 versus these are 76. Um, same size valves, 202, 16s. Uh, very similar in a lot of ways. Thick decks and just about as heavy as, uh, as the dart heads. Um, but I don't know as far as flow numbers with these a flow. They do have what appears to be uh, bigger kind of casting marks. So I might clean these up a little bit uh, to kind of put up against the darts. But it's going to be kind of neat to see as far as what these Engine Quest heads will do. I've um, sent an email to Engine Quest to see if I can get some more information on these. But it'll, it'll be really interesting to see how well these ones do. So you guys are going to really like this. So this is an 062 Vortec head. Um, but it's actually been fitted with 202 and 16 exhaust valves. So this will be a really good comparison up against the darts and the engine quest heads as far as uh, as far as valve size. You can actually see here how close these valves are together. Um, I'm curious to see with the port size and everything with the valve shrouding what difference is it's going to make. Uh, I haven't actually flowed Vortec heads with the 202, so I'm, I'm really curious. Uh, it's had some bowl blending sort of stuff done to it. The combustion chamber hasn't been done. These heads were like this when I got it. They were actually on my truck 
and when I pulled them off I was surprised so I'm just really curious to see if it's worth the money going the 202 valves uh, on a set of Vortex if it's worth the money versus just porting it with the 194s and seeing how far you can go. I'm not going to go ham and port them. Like I said, it's already been pocket ported. And, but I'm just curious to see with just like this, what they'll flow. So that's going to be really interesting to find out. All right, and last but not least, we have what you call a Chinese ripoff head I guess um, I've I've always been curious and I guess I know a lot of you guys have and I've gotten emails about these heads I don't know anything about them alright so I thought I would order some and if I don't like them, I'm just gonna send them back which is not an issue um, but these are your eBay Amazon heads uh, you know I have to say out of the box I'm impressed with them I haven't had a lot of time to go through them and I'm gonna make a separate video about that but I just wanted to show you guys that I will be flowing these as well these are 200 cc so a little bit bigger but again kind of comparison um, to a Vortec head as far as uh, design uh, it's obviously like I said a bigger port uh, same size combustion chambers combustion chamber design these are a 20216 like the the darts and the engine quest uh, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see what these flow I can't get uh, kind of for, for sure flow numbers on these heads so uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what they do maybe they'll be crap maybe they'll be good I have no idea so um, I'm, I'm really excited about it it's something I've kind of wanted to do for a while um, I don't really condone kind of these Chinese heads, but you know what? I'm gonna be like, I know you guys have been interested. I'm interested to see what they flow and just kind of see kind of what they've done with it. I have to say, right out of the box, the casting is actually pretty in, in, impressive. And same with the machine work. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but like the deck surface is machined so smooth, it's it's almost got a mirror finish to it. Uh, the valve seats look really nice just out of the box and stuff. I haven't had a really good chance to go over it. But uh, so far, I'm actually surprisingly impressed with them. So we'll see what they flow. I don't know um, if, if they're going to be good. I, I really don't know. Um, but I guess we'll find out, and I, I'm really excited to find out. So there you go, guys. Um, this tonight is more of an intro video, so I'm going to do kind of this porting stuff in a few stages. Uh, where I, I'm going to explain how I ported this stuff in, in, in separate videos. Uh, it just, it's just so much stuff to cover in one video, so I just thought I would do an intro so you know what I got going on. I uh, hope you guys are excited about seeing the flow numbers on this stuff as I am uh, comparing it you know the different stages of porting I know what the vortex of flow ported but I haven't done it like this before so I'm pretty excited um, <clears throat> I'm gonna explain you know the techniques I use I'm not a professional porter by any means so I know there's guys out there that are you know could blow these out of the water as far as part porting but I'm gonna show you what I do and you know at least I can give you some before and after so you in flow numbers so you can have an idea of, of what it takes to, to, to bring up the CFM uh, with with a little bit of porting um, let me know what you guys think uh, what 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 heads gonna flow the least what heads gonna flow the most as far as uh, we got the the vortex the ported vortex versus the 202 vortex versus the engine quest versus the dart then we're gonna throw those Chinese aluminum heads in there and see what they do. So let me know what you think, uh, what they're gonna flow, and uh, we'll see. We'll see who's right at the end because I'm gonna make a prediction. Uh, I think uh, on the next video, and uh, and hopefully we'll see how that goes. But anyway, guys, thanks.